Welcome to this computer-based training module about voyage planning. This module contains the following subject. Disabled ship emergencies. The learning objective for this chapter is to become aware of some useful basic actions which may be taken into account when the ship is disabled or in an emergency situation. When a ship becomes disabled, the primary objective is to keep it away from hazards or shallow water. It must then effect repairs or rely on another vessel to tow it to a safe place for repair. If one or more spaces, which normally provide buoyancy, become flooded, the action to be taken will depend upon the location of the flooded compartment and the extent of the damage. In all cases of flooding, reference should be made to the ship's stability information to determine what action is necessary to improve buoyancy. The ship will drift under the influence of wind, current and wave forces. Direction and speed of drift cannot be predicted precisely, but results from tests should be consulted, if available. The master should take every opportunity to observe the drift behavior of his ship in loaded and light conditions and various aspects of trim. The drift pattern observed should be documented and retained on board for future reference. Use of the main engine when steering capability is not available may be very helpful in changing the drift direction and speed or even stopping the ship altogether. Tests have shown the following. With full or emergency full astern power, it is possible to bring the stern of a single screw ship up into the weather. For a ship with the rudder jammed in hard over position, careful ahead maneuvering can keep the ship's head into the weather. The effect of propeller revolutions on a free flapping rudder is such that the rudder will generally go to the hard to starboard position with either a head or a stern revolutions and stay there as long as the engine revolutions are maintained. In water too deep for the anchor to reach the bottom, lowering the anchor or anchors to about 60 fathoms will reduce downwind progress. The anchor and cable may have the effect of a drogue or sea anchor and should keep the ship's head into the weather. Once the ship is in water depth where the anchor can find bottom, use of the anchors to stop the ship's movement should be attempted. If the bottom is sand or mud, it may be possible to slow or even stop the ship. Once the master has decided that he requires the assistance of a towing vessel, he should immediately begin to plan the possible methods of making the towing connection. Emergency towing will usually be undertaken with the most suitable vessel available in the vicinity. The SOLAS regulations require that tankers of 20,000 tons dead weight and above are equipped with an emergency towing system both forward and aft. The purpose of these systems is to provide the ship with a towing capability which can be rapidly deployed and connected to a towing vessel in an emergency situation.
Various factors should be borne in mind when assessing the situation after a ship has run aground. The master should first obtain information about the situation, including the following. Tides. Currents. Weather, including wind, state of sea and swell. Any forecast change in the weather. Nature of the bottom. Depth of water around the ship. The calculated buoyancy needed to refloat and draft and trim after refloating. Condition of the ship, including stresses on the hull. Salvage assistance may be rendered without agreement being reached in advance. If no contract has been made, those rendering beneficial assistance are in any event entitled to claim salvage, where a ship is in peril. Salvage may also be rendered by agreement. There are two main types of arrangements. Services may be rendered on the basis that remuneration will be settled later. Remuneration on the basis of a lump sum or a daily rate. The most widely used and accepted form of salvage contract is the Lloyd's Standard Form of Salvage Agreement. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. Bon voyage. On the following pages, you will be asked some questions.